to you, I mean, if you haven't gotten to talk to you since, you know, all the new hires and everything, what, how excited are you to, you know, be playing for, or are you excited, are you excited to have Jim Harbaugh as your coach? I mean, shoot, everybody, I don't know, I think the fans showed how, how excited we are um, that that we hired such a um, experienced coach, you know, of winning, you know, and then that's what we want to do here. We want to win, so um, man, we're excited. We just got to take uh, take the opportunity and run with it, you know. Having a having a coach with that much experience, been to the Super Bowl and all that, and um, man, we just want to win. What's he been like? Uh, in, in, have you talked to him meetings, or has he? What's he been like in your interactions with him so far? Uh, he's pretty. He's an interesting dude for sure. I mean, um, I ain't gonna say too much about him, but uh, he, he he does catch me off guard a little bit. Just kind of a side dude already, and then how he approaches me and, and talks is kind of like, oh shoot, it's I don't know, I'm weird. Truly, <laughs> uh, obviously last year you spoke highly about having to learn with guys like Khalil, Joey. Now you guys have Bud Dupree. Just what do you think now of the of the Edge rusher room or, or the room now that all the talent Yeah, I think I think we kind of stacked, you know. Um, and uh, like exactly, just adding another vet in the room just gives me more opportunity to learn from another vet, you know. Um, surprisingly, he is kind of different from, from K Mac and Joy B, and um, I, I'm excited to continue to learn from him, you know. And I think I think the when we get a training camp, I think that's that's the that's when I'll be able to learn more and and pick his brain about stuff. So yeah. How, how differently do you feel now than you did at this time last year when you were, uh, you know, a rookie? I'm sure you're spinning a little bit. Just what are the differences that you notice? Um, I think the big, the biggest difference was actually having an off season. I think uh, I had so much time, I didn't even know what to do with it. So, but you know, we had the combine and pro day, and but now I had like what, like three, four months to just chill. But not chill. We obviously was working out, but. Like I took it, I took a vacation right after the right after the season, and then I was like, "What else am I gonna do?" So I just worked out the whole time, which which might be a bad idea, but it was pretty cool though. Uh, but next next off season, I'll be more prepared and understand how much time I have, you know. Where'd you go on vacation? Uh, I didn't go. I didn't go anywhere special. I just went to the Bay Area, visit. Yeah, I didn't go anywhere special. I should have went out of the country or something like that, or at least out of the state. But yeah, I, I didn't take advantage of the off season at all. Is it different also from like a mindset perspective? Like now after a first year, you kind of know what to work on or what you wanted to work on? Oh, yeah, for sure. I think I think going into offseason, I knew I had a good idea what I needed to work on. Um, I don't think it was that hard to figure out what I needed to work on. So, um, yeah, I was excited going into the offseason. I'm excited going into training camp and not always OTAs, but also training camp too, where we could show how to put the pads on and show what we can do. So, yeah. Well, all the uncertainty surrounding who was going to stay, who was going to go, how excited were you when you found out that Joey and Khalil were uh, posting? Yeah, I was happy. I think uh, right after Joey resigned, he texted me like, one more year. And I was like, oh, hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> and then uh, came back, yeah, I, um, I was excited. I was excited both of them resigned. You know, I was kind of bummed out. Uh, Joey was always messing around with me, talking about like, dang, two, that was our last game together. And I'm like, bruh, chill out. <laughs> But man, having both of them back, and then especially adding Bud, like it's been fun. I mean, I think Bud brings a lot of energy to the room. I, that's that's what I've been noticing in the OTAs. Like, um, he's always like trying to um, not I would say hype somebody up, but like like good, hey, good, hey, good rep stuff like that. And, like we usually couldn't didn't really do that. I don't know. I don't know why we didn't, but Bud brings that energy, and I and it's been good. You know, having three three vets to learn from. You How much better can you be? How much? Improvement can you make in your two? Um, I don't know. We gotta wait and see. That's that's pretty much it, you know. You mentioned you had very specific things that you wanted to work on, and it wasn't hard to sort of identify them. Can you share any of those with us? Some of the things, the specific things that you sort of pinpointed this off. Yeah, I'll just say uh, my get off and my pass rush. I think, I think uh, a lot of people thought I had a, a good impact in the pass rush game, but I felt like I I left so much stuff on the field and. Um, I had a lot of opportunities to make more plays and didn't take advantage of it. So going out off, off season, I, I needed to work on basically just my get off, getting to the point, and, and my pass rush hand moves and all that stuff. So, what uh, as far as pass rush moves specifically, was that a big focus for you as far as hand usage? 
and, and sort of identifying the moves that you could go to? Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, just my working my hands and, and I, I mean, everything starts with a get off. So if we get off slow, then you're already lost. So, um, yeah, get off and pass rush moves. You didn't think you had a good get off question? It was all right. It's all right. How did you improve that? Get off. Um, well, I did a lot of sled work, you know, getting uh, out the stance. Um, yeah, that's that's one of them. So you talked a little bit about Bud and, and his, his energy at, at practice, at least. Like, how, you see he's a little bit different from Kalu and Joey. How much of an, like a positive impact, I guess, has he been on the room? And, and just talk more about his energy. Um, How can I say this? I think, well, like, Khalil talks, but he talks and, like, he doesn't talk every single time. But, like, when he does talk, you hear him. Like, you actually listen, like, oh, damn. Like, he, Khalil just talked, like, you listening. But, like, Bud, like, he's con cons consistently bringing and talking and, like, every rep, like, let's go, Joey, let's go, K-Mac. And even to the to the younger guys, too, he's like, good, good rep, good spin, good stuff like that. So, I think that, that's been cool, like, yeah. What's your mindset on? I saw you on the new kickoff and everything. Just what, what's kind of been your mindset with that, and, and what do you think about the new kickoff goals? It's crazy. I think it's it's really fast. I think I think I, my very first rep on kickoff, uh, I ran straight and Didi was already past me like on the left. So I was like, damn, I didn't even get a chance to do a move yet. But shoot, we're gonna have to adjust. So you are you expecting to be the owner this season? Uh, whatever they need me to do, I'll do it. So, yeah. Prepare for everything.